Hi guys, Tanya here. Um, I am bringing to you a different type of video today. So in today's video, we are going to make a layout. So I will make actually two layouts, so I'll break it up into two videos. But I'm going to use this beautiful paper, Vintage Artistry Shore by 49 and Market, designed by Katie Perte. I don't know if I say that name right, but she's a fabulous designer. Um, <clears throat> So this is a Vintage Artistry Shore collection. Uh, it has some beautiful papers. Uh, for our layout, we're going to have some rub-ons. Uh, you'll get included the embellishments, some background. So we have some cheesecloth here and some texture. Uh, so each of these kits or each of these layouts will be a kit. So the first, this is the first layout. <clears throat> beautiful. Uh, this is... When I think about the beach, I think about taking my mom to Yahats, Oregon. Uh, we rent this beautiful, this beautiful um, sea house, uh, seaside cottage, and it's right by the beach. So this is the view from this window. So we, uh, so no beach volleyball photos, no hanging out in the hot weather. My beach is cold. So. I want to put this in a layout. So I have a bunch of layouts or a bunch of embellishments that I've tucked under. I have really cool like seashells. Um, but like I said, we are going to have two videos, one for each of these layouts. So this is the first one. And this is the second one. Okay, so this one has really beautiful paper. It's kind of an orangey coral type of color. So it's a different color with embellishments and shells. Um, so you could put these together <clears throat> in your book um, or put them in a frame. Uh, but it's this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shore paper from 49 and Market. Okay. So in the video or in the kits, you're going to get all of the embellishments, the paper, I'll include some cardboard, um, and I'll talk in the video how I use my cardboard, um, but the Technique videos will be available. So if you purchase the kit, you can come back to this video and watch the Technique. Um, it's a similar technique with both, and I'm not using a lot, I'm not using any mixed media, so I'm not using any paints, I'm not using any goopy stuff, because all of the embellishments and the rub-ons really make that background texture amazing, okay? So here's number one. And here's number two. Okay. Okay, here's a trick. I don't want, I'm going to use this as a background of this paper. Okay, so this is going to sit on top of it. But I don't want to waste this paper. So I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to cut out of the middle so that when I glue it on, it's going to be a frame. Okay, so here is an example. So I'm just going to, so cut about an inch. Okay, don't cut too far. pictures out to make sure that I have my focal point. So I know that I want to put both of these pictures on here. And this is already framed here. 
So I know that I kind of want to stay within that frame. Um, but I also have, so remember this piece of paper. So I have this piece of paper that I could use as a background. I have this, all of these that I can use. So I'm going to use um, some rub-ons to go kind of branch out to add some texture. And I have a lot of these embellishments. So this is what you'll get in the kit. Um, this one I already ripped. Uh, so it's all excited, but you'll get so half of the shells, you'll get one of these. So we'll figure out where to put that there. And then some background paper to kind of tuck behind there. Okay. I have also, you'll get just a twine thing here. Some of that really cool packaging and paper that we'll set behind to add texture. So really what I need to do is figure out what I want to back my picture on before I glue it down. Um, some people take pictures. Oh, you'll also get these shells. You can use them if you want. see those markings I'm gonna take this um, if you haven't so rub-ons if you haven't done this a while these were famous a while ago uh, you can um, if you didn't get a stick with your rub-ons you can use a bone holder or you can use um, don't use the scissors because they're pokey you can use a rub-on tool if you have one. All right, so I'm gonna cut these apart. So there's two layers of the uh, rub-on. You have one that has the rub-on on it, right? And then you have your plastic in the, the back. Don't spread it apart and try to rub it all together because it'll all stick and then you'll be sad. So I'm gonna cut these elements out. Um, like this goes along the line. I think it looked really cool there. I'm gonna cut out these here. This one, I want to put here. Okay, so you got all this white space here. So this one, I want to put kind of right here, sticking out there. Okay, it'll add to that texture in that hole right there. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm just going to put this. And you can put your rub-ons wherever you want. So don't think that you have to follow me. Depending on what your picture is, you can um, add more or less, uh, I think, to your to the, to the texture. So once you have them rubbed, rub on, you can kind of pull it up gently to see if you've gotten all of it.
you get the idea. This is going to dry a little bit. Well, a lot. I would leave it overnight. Um, the trick for the glue, so this uh, ultra thick gel medium, it's kind of like those peanut butter cookies that you have that you put in a Hershey's Kiss um, and it kind of settles in. So it doesn't matter how much you push on your page, the glue is not going to stick any better. You could put like overnight, you could put something on top of it to hold it down. Um, but if you feel like you don't, if it's not sticking, put more glue, right? Like, so this isn't, this may need some more glue. So it's not going to hurt anything. It will dry clear. Uh, so if I feel like this little bugger, so I put a healthy amount of glue there. I'm just going to stick it down. Like, let it dry for a little bit. Stop tinkering with it and let it dry. Okay, so that's part one. Hope you like it. Um, so really the key is that you tuck in your elements. So know where your focal point is. Know what you're going to do before. Um, at least where your pictures are going to be. Um, if you remember at the very beginning I said that this was going to sit higher than this. That didn't quite work out. This piece of it, I don't know why I glued this on top of that because now I can't see it. But that's okay. Um, but if you pop your pictures up, then you can tuck everything underneath it and then you have kind of a cluster. So I didn't cover up all of these things here. Um, I kind of covered up the seahorse. You can see his little nose there, but that's okay. So the best, kind of the key of this is that we all get, the more you look at this, the more interest you're going to get because we're going to see all of these little elements. So don't be afraid to hide things. Don't be afraid to tear them. Don't be afraid to tuck them in. Okay. So that's the end of part one. Uh, I will be back with part two. Thank you.